Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Cozy Juicy Real. This is a three to eight player game that requires about uh, 30 to 60 minutes to play and it's for ages 13 and up. And in the game Cozy Juicy Real, you're gonna be playing as yourself. One of these tokens along this board here, you're gonna be moving around it, answering questions from these four main decks up until you get to the very last lightning round. You draw one of these cards and if you answer it, you'll check to see the scores. Whoever has the most points is the winner. We'll go ahead and show you how to set the game up, how to play, and then of course my review. To set the game up is very simple. Take the main game mat and place it within reach of all players. Set each of the four main decks, the cozy, re real, juicy, and random decks. Make sure they're shuffled and place them on their spaces on the game board. And then finally, you're gonna shuffle this middle deck here, the lightning deck, and place it down as well. For each player playing the game, select one of these wooden tokens and place it on the start space. Then give each player one of these purple cards. There are five different types. Courage, What About You, High Five, Hug, and Go Deeper. And after that, you're pretty much ready to go. Begin with starting with some player and have them draw from the cozy deck. Gameplay is fairly simple as well. You're going to be moving around the game board, having players draw from the deck that they are associated with on the game board based on the color of the space they are on, read the question out loud, answer the question or perform the action and then pass and it'll move around like that. Each of the cards will give you a certain number of spaces you'll be moving when you answer the question. It'll also give you a number of points you'll get at the end of the game for having this card. If you want when players are answering or doing an action you could do one of the five cards here and each of them are different. You could use the courage card which allows you to play this anytime to recognize a player for their genuine courage. You could do something like what about you where you can ask another player the same question. Play this anytime when you think a player deserves a hug, for hug, and then high five, giving players high fives. And finally, go deeper. If you want somebody to explain something a little more, you can give them that card. These cards are going to be worth negative points at the end of the game if you don't use them, so it's suggested that you do. And you can use them on any player that you'd like as the game progresses. Additionally, the very end of the game is a lightning round. You're gonna be reading one of these cards here worth a lot of points, and you can guess right and keep the points, or guess wrong and you'll discard the card off the board. If the player to your left could attain one new characteristic, what would they choose from the following? They would pick, you would guess, and if you get it right, that will make you end the game. Uh, it's a pretty simple, straightforward game of going along a board, answering questions, and moving based on those cards questions, finishing the game off with a lightning round, and checking to see whoever has the most points at the end of the game. Fairly simple, but let's get into my review. So Cozy Juicy Reel is part experience slash social experiment and part game. The game involves you moving around the board, answering questions, gaining points, and attempting to get to the end so you can get to the lightning round and finish off the game and score the most points, utilize all of your cards, and make sure that you have no negative points while scoring the most high-valued points you can when you choose to go on the certain spaces. There's a slight amount of strategy to the game as far as what cards you choose, what cards you want to answer, and how you want to answer the cards, but for the most part, this game is all about answering, choosing between the different types of decks, whether it be a real question, a cozier question, a juicy question, or maybe something random like having players decide on a secret high five or a secret handshake or having somebody be the judge and asking players to impersonate their best foreign accent or their best animal or having other players quickly challenge each other to do the Macarena. So there's some slight do this, do that type cards in this game. And then of course the lightning, which is probably my favorite in the game, well, you're going to have to guess, uh, based on the player to your left or right, uh, what they might want to do in a certain situation, and you have to figure out based on how well you get to know them throughout the game. So you're going to be learning about these players, and then you're going to have a challenge to determine if you know them well enough at the end of the game. There's going to be uh, experiences throughout this game, which I think are pretty cool in as far as like learning about individuals, and getting to know them more personally, and being able to interact with them easier as you can continue playing through your game night or whatever social experience you're currently having, whether it be a party, a family gathering, a gathering of new family members, etc, etc. This is, like I said, it's very, very light on like strategy and like you're not like just like trying to like make sure you can get around the board and score the most points. In fact, I would almost say that points really don't matter in this game. It's really more about the experience, being willing to open up and discuss the questions on the cards and talk about yourself or know about somebody else around the table. And I think that's a really cool little experience. 
if you're looking for a type of game game where you're like trying to compete and like there's a kind of conniving aspect to it, this is not going to be for you. This is not the game that like you're set out on a strategy to try and score the most points. Because like I said, I would almost say points really don't matter. This is all about the experience, being able to open up. And if you feel like you're gonna be a little more closed off or not wanna answer questions or not wanna participate in the gameplay, it also might not be for you. But I would suggest even so giving it a try if it's down on the table so that you can see how well you do actually open up with these questions. A lot of the questions are fairly like reasonable, nothing is adult oriented or sexual in any nature. It's all going to be based on like family topics about getting to know the person as an individual, which I actually really like. I think that's really important and I think that's really useful as a nice icebreaker at certain parties and certain events. So overall, if this is the type of game for you, and I know this is going to be kind of a niche type of a game for certain people, if you're a really hardcore modern gamer, it might not be something you're necessarily looking for but it might be something you'd want to give a try, especially if you're looking to be uh, more socially active, if you kind of want to open up and branch out a little bit more, especially with new people that you're getting to meet along your life, then Cozy Juicy Reel is something I would strongly suggest you take a look at it. I enjoyed the game, it was a lot of fun, but I wouldn't say I enjoyed the actual game aspect. It's more about what's in the cards and how you choose to interact with other people. Thank you guys for watching with our Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Cozy Juicy Reel. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the Kickstarter where you can go ahead and back this game. You can also go ahead and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, where we have blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and written reviews all week long. We add new ones. You can also check out our live streams where we play games just like this one. The first one is on Whatnot on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. PST, where we sell games. Link in the description. And we have a 6.30 p.m. PST Sunday night where we have live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. If you're interested in joining us, go ahead and do so. We'd greatly appreciate it. In fact, we would love it if you subscribed. If you think that we've earned your subscription and you've watched more than one of our videos here, do consider doing so. It continues to help us make new content. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to being cozy, juicy, and real with you next time.